If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tableman? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website, PokemonCard.io. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. We're going to be taking a look at the top 8 Blizzy V deck that did well at the Full, Grips, full Grip Gaming uh, Tournament. Blizzy V is not a new card, it is from Chilling Rain, has attack Blissful, Blast doing 10 damage, and this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you can attach up to 3 energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So we're going to be pairing Blissy with a brand new Milk Tank from um, Astral Radiance, has the ability Miracle Body, prevent all damage on this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V, so nice way to be annoying and hopefully bypass some of the uh, Pokemon that are very popular right now. And then we have the Route attack, which does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Not a very impressive attack, but not bad nonetheless. And then we also have Evil Dull with the Cry of Destruction attack, doing um, discarding up to three special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, very nice against Mew VMAX especially. We also have Dawn Sparse with a Mysterious Mist ability to take out weakness from both Miltank and Blissey and itself. And we also have Greninja, Radiant Greninja with the Concealed Cards ability. You can discard an energy from your hand in order to use this ability. And if you do, you may draw two cards. So Blissey obviously benefits from the energies being the discard pile. And you get extra draw power as well. And we are play featuring four double turbo energy, four lucky energy, four capture energy, and four powerful energy. One double turbo energy is essentially the same as a powerful energy for um, the Blissey, which is really nice. And then we have the captures for consistency and lucky to um, get some late game um, bonuses and especially protect ourselves from Roseanne. Now this deck is not playing Roseanne, but we do have three research and three senior as our main uh, ways to draw. We also have one Marnie and one Avery for techie supporters. We have one Roseanne, Roxanne's backup to recover a Pokemon, a tool card, a stadium card, and an energy. So very weird to see this honestly, but uh, this is what the original creator of the deck used, and then a Sharon Scare to hopefully heal a damaged Blizzy. Then we have Crushing Hammers to be annoying, Hybrid Potions to heal ourselves, Quick Bolt to search for basics along with the Capture Energy, Trekking Shoes as well help us stick to a deck, and perhaps get energy into a discard pile. Path to a Peak helps us um, lock down abilities from our opponents, and we have the Switch card which switches and heals damage in case we need to. So let's jump in the ladder, see how we do. Alrighty, so we're going second, which is not bad for this deck, honestly. Um, it's bad I don't have any energies, but um, the best case scenario, we're up against Mew VMAX and then we get a full Blom Sin uh, Senior, but surprisingly, <laughs> we are up against. Oh, we're up against Stefan, actually. We're up against Stefan, and he's playing the same deck that we are, so pretty funny to see. Um, Right now it's like 1 a.m. in France, so <laughs> late night sleeper for Stefan. All right, Chosenia will definitely not be a very good card. Um, we both might have trouble getting through our own mill tanks. Healing will be pretty impactful right here, so really interesting to see how we go about this. He already has two energies in the discard pile though, which is really nice as we don't have any ourselves. Nope, no energy for Pablo. So let's do this. Um, I do want to put it into my hand. So we both start double tracking shoes. Um, I don't want this card. Ugh. I don't think Crushing Hammer will be too impactful here. No energy. <laughs> it 
It's as simple as that. 16 energy in the deck, not a single one. So, assuming he's playing the exact same 60 cards, I'm not gonna bench anything, I shouldn't be at any risk of getting KO'd. And, um, I don't wanna help his Xenia. But seeing how this has been going, I would not be surprised if he just has a nice, juicy research. Like, I'm already very far behind. Every advantage, yep. <laughs> Every advantage that I could have possibly had is already gone. Um, yeah, and he had a nexus of supporters, in fact. <clears throat> so I can't even heal. That did 70, so it's 70, 130, 170. Yeah, he's definitely KOing me this turn. No way for me to discard. Oh, okay, never mind. I can. No, I priced my Greninja. Are you kidding? <laughs> I prized my grenade, man. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Nothing I can do. This is my usual lock against other <laughs> top players. I very rarely beat them just because they draw better. Not much to do here, not much to think about. Um, Prize my Rain and Ninja, so can't accelerate energy, can't accelerate cards. I'm out of supporters. Need the Hyper Potions to potentially trade properly, but that's also not the case. Right here, um, I do get a little bit of protection from the Blissey, I guess, with the mail tank, but realistically, pretty sure your opponent's benched Pokemon. Okay. Um, there's no point in healing, so I might as well just power up the mail tank normally. I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll try, I guess. If it comes down to mill tank versus mill tank, he's down both Marnies too, so maybe I can deck him out. <laughs> maybe I can actually deck him out. Every time I attack into the Blissey, I get closer to decking him out. Fact, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. And he's like 15 cards ahead, so even with my double lucky energy mail tank, he will not be um, anywhere close. Alright, um, yeah, and I can like wait on the mail tank until the very, very later stages. I don't know, this seems. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of hope here. Alright. Like, I'm not really threatened, right? So I don't need to quick ball. And there could be, I could, potentially, um, I could potentially get into a situation where I can evil dull away the energy from the mill tank and leave it stranded in the active. Um, I guess he has too many energy. Left. Yep, and he has the same idea, I guess. I mean, that's fair, that's not doing any damage, right? And then the mill tank's only doing 30. <laughs> Why can't I freaking, like. <sighs> um, I guess I'll spin. I 
guess. There's no point attaching, right? So. Ugh. No tank will do 30. So it's a slow but steady thing, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm a mill deck now. That's a 10 hit KO. And then I get just bench, like I can heal. Do I win this by deck out? I think I win this. Unless I'm missing something, I think I can win this. I can go double turbo hyper potion. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe this. You know what? If I attack him, that actually gets it closer. Would he actually discard my energy? Maybe he would, right? This actually makes it... Makes the deck out quicker. <laughs> this is so weird. This is such a weird game. I think I'm gonna win this. The Blissy Mirror against Stefan. So, I'm sort of... Like, I'm a little scared. Only a little. to conserve my energies right oh it's 10 plus 20 i thought it was 20 plus 10 for some reason i'm so dumb can't read i was wondering why he was doing so little damage. oh yeah the powerful energies okay 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 so i do need to be careful the powerful energies are a thing all right so i do need to heal right here again um. I'm like I'm close to getting a KO I guess eventually yes <laughs> let's go <laughs> win by deck out what the heck I had another mill tank too and another double turbo and I could research eventually for stuff all right Take it back, I somehow won that. <laughs> the pro strats, the pro strats. All right, so we won the coin flip. This time around we have the mill tank to try and pressure. And we might be up against Mew VMAX based on the sleeves. And now that confirms Mew VMAX, all right. All right. Sure, let's bench the Radiant Greninja. Let's get rid of you. Um, all right, so there's a very, very high chance that my mill tank goes down to a Meloid on turn one. So I kind of want to attach this double turbo to someone that's not the mill tank. Probably just the Greninja, right? this dude goes down and then I need to retreat into the PC potentially so it's gonna be about the crushing hammers it's gonna be about the um, path to the peak all right
Cooking shoes. There's the attachment on the mellow item. Getting rid of a power tablet. I like that. It makes it harder to knock out my bleaties, so I'm happy with that. Extra four cards right there. There's the LS Sparkle, so that's a knockout on my poor mill tank. So that attachment right there, pretty good. And so we just research and hope. <laughs> it's not ideal when your plan is research and hope. And I have fairly good odds of finding a Glizzy, I hope. And ideally, too, right? I also have the draw from concealed cards. If I put in place the escape rope, that would be really bad. I think they have one Genesec left. Alright, no escape rope. That is good. Okay, uh, not a good top deck. Ah, uh, sure, if you have to commit another energy to Meloda, I'm actually happy about that. And then we'll go research. Alright, we're looking for Blissey. Quick Ball or Blissey? There we go. So, I'm definitely not getting a KO here. However... Can concealed cards, can trekking shoes. I would like to keep this cape of toughness, that's really nice. And then I might as well establish another Blitzy, right? Uh, I guess I could go the evil doll. I could actually distract my opponent from going after the Blitzy. Should I? Five prize cards. You know what? I think it's better to have the Evil Doll as some sort of backup. I'm not gonna get to use the tracking shoes now. I'm gonna do 40 and we're gonna attach all the energies, of course. Not a lot of damage <laughs> for our first attack. Not even good. Maybe this deck wants to go second. Alright, we did flip Crushing Hammer Heads, so we should be hopefully out of range. And the Avery means no boss either on our Blissey. And no second attachment either, so that's potentially really good. You can see a Cram, a Medic, a Rooney. So I'm feeling Avery next turn. Especially with my opponent playing down the stadium, and they already discarded a Genesect. So that could be really, really good. I wonder how much damage they'll choose to do this turn. Alright, escape rope. Um, you can have the Greninja, right? Yeah, now we have to go through two Blizzies. Okay. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Full HP please in the next turn. No energies in the discard pile is unfortunate though. Alright, they went for the 210 attack. They are down. One power tablet and one escape rope, and that's it. I'm thinking the Avery might be better here. Well, they do have a really clogged hand. Uh, you know what, let's do Senia then. If you want to keep this... <sighs> sure, I'll get really high potion. I'm not happy with any of these discards. Okay, ooh. That evil doll could actually 
wreck my opponent right here. Kind of like that. <laughs> kind of like that, not gonna lie. Alright. And I have destruction. One, two, and three. So can my opponent recover off of that? That's a lot of special energy though. Usually in the latest list you would expect um, two psychic one double turbo. We see on the list a sparkle. They didn't attach last time. But now they do. Okay. So they were actually playing around the evil doll. Mad respect for my opponent on that one. respect on that one. That was really well played. That I disagree though. That I don't understand why. So that they can kill with Max Miracle I guess. I, I still don't agree with that though. Alright, so we're looking for a path to a peak this turn. No way for me to get a KO on the view, so I'm just gonna power up the Bleed TV on the bench this time around. With my attachment at least. They did play a power tablet. Presumably, you have to utilize Max Miracle. Alright. Only one escape rope. Okay, that's a card we wanted. That's really nice. If we flip heads, it's probably gonna be game over. Alright. We're playing that. We're also playing this. I would like to discard that. And I would like to keep this action. So I have two energy to back me. Discard you. Grabbing you. And then let's see. Nope. Alright. I'm gonna attach that marble here. And then we'll blissful blasts. Yeah, we were nowhere near close to getting a knockout right there. Which is fine. I just paired up another 100. With this, this would actually be a clean one shot on the UV max. With my math doesn't fail me. Alright, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Now without a recorder, that is not the case. Oh, jeez, that recorder really sucks, dude. It might not be able to attack, though, this upcoming turn. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, seven. All right, there's the head flip. Ah, that Oricorio really messed up my plans. So maybe the Avery to play around the Oricorio was not worry. Trade belts. Still, well, one switch, one escape rope played. Two double turbos. Once you land, I land, I I have no idea. <laughs> I have actually no idea how you pronounce that. Okay, power tablet. Do they get the knockout? That would be really sucky. No, they just put it at the top. Alright. Alrighty. So we took out a few extra cards. We like a hyper potion. Right, I can knock out the active. Can I knock it out with this Blissey though? I don't think I can. Right, 10 plus 30, that's 40, 50, yeah, no, no way. I don't even knock out with, yeah, I, I never had the one shot. That's my bad. 
how many bosses are they down? They're not a single boss down, okay. Well, that's not good. They're building up their power tablets again to get the final KO. I think preventing the KO here is better. They did go for Max Miracle. So, I'm just gonna retreat. He's carrying the Lockies. And I guess... Last, not a KO, that Mew can't attack though. We'll get extra energies, extra cards, I mean, which could be important for Hyper Potion healing the bench, please be. So I could have taken knockout, I chose not to. Okay, it just goes for the boss. If they play down their last switch though, that could be important. Because they only have energy to attack on this one. We're not seeing um, the stadium that recovers basic energy yet, so in order to attack they might need to switch this turn. There's a choice belt. They have three cards left. They whiffed. <laughs> they whiffed the switch. I don't think they can attack anymore. Um, so I'm just gonna go after this. That might uh, prompt a concession. Uh, sure. Now I want to be more efficient. Go ahead and attach. Oh, I self damage. Oops, that's not good. That is not good. Hopefully, that doesn't cost me. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't cost me whoopsies. Oh, that could be actually really bad. <laughs> I should not have attacked. Oh, well, never mind. There's the one. They couldn't attack anymore. They were out of energies and they didn't have the stadium, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, let's play another one. Alrighty, so we are going second with... Not a bad hand. We can start mill tank against an unknown opponent. That seems pretty good. We are about to find out more. Duraludon, okay. So Duraludon doesn't care about my mill tank at all. Which is fine, right? Mill tank does uh, prevent the Arceus, which is really cool. Um, starting mill tank, I wish I had gone first, but that's alright. All right, this could be huge, and it is huge, all right. So I'm not particularly threatened just yet, so I'm gonna attach this, and then next turn, I'll attach the capture. That way they can't go boss on the Blizzy. All right, so they just trained the charge, that's fair. <clears throat> that's definitely fair. So I'm gonna need path to stick in order for me to damage the Raldon. So he didn't really do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and Senior for two instead. Okay. A crushing hammer. Nope. I'm sure I'll bench you and then I'll round for a little bit. 50. Yeah. Next up, I have the Marty. If it doesn't do anything, though, I might not Marty. We'll see. Round on VMAX is a big problem, though, for sure. <clears throat> and there's the boss. Poor Blazy. Jeez. Research. Nope. Alright. Well, now we can get them. Um, okay, we're looking to see an energy off of these trekking shoes. That would be great. Yes. Let's play 
place card. Nice, another great place card. Alright, cool. Um, I could possibly go down even with the Cape of Toughness, so I might as well just save the Cape for a benched. Lizzy. Well, actually, I should have attached it to the active because then I prevented myself from going down from the Arceus hit. That was a mistake. Yep, it would have been 180. I would have been, it would have been 10 damage off from knocking out. Yep, that's bad. As soon as I attached it, I realized it. All right, there's tracking shoes. Definitely not an ideal deck to go up against though. They also don't need to play down any stadiums before I play any stadiums so. though. the keep on the active all it would mean is I would have to um, they would have to retreat right, to take the KO for some reason they choose to play the stadium first oh, okay well let's get another draw all done I guess that makes sense I don't think we're winning this we played some really weird matchups like a mirror match and then this the win against Mew felt very nice though. The the win against the mirror match also felt very nice. Like it seemed like Stefan was in full control and then it just meant like we just need to be patient, right? All we needed to do was be patient and that was it. Okay. So it's only time for Mill Tank here. Get this Arceus and research. Then we bench on our mill tank. That's five prizes total. All right. So I'm gonna attach a lucky energy to this friend. So I don't know if I want to path to the peak though. I feel like I should save that for when I actually attack. There's no point in stopping that really. And they might bet they might get like overconfident. And they might actually um, get rid of a stadium somehow or for some reason. A boss would suck here though. A boss would really, really suck. Okay. Alright. We do get more need out of our path. It's not ideal. First support trip basically too. So one Marty is at the bottom of the deck. Mill tank is definitely going to jam. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of damage. Okay. The perfect, com the perfect combination would be crushing hammer plus path to the peak. That would be the best thing. Nope. I would like to keep this card, thank you very much. Um I'm sure I'll do it here even though this is really matter and I want to do as much damage as I can all right get another one of these I do okay and then I'll go blissful blasts that we have three energies so I'll attach as many as I can to do as much damage as I can this turn This Twitch card, no hyper potion though. Didn't do anything. <laughs> 90 damage. Alright, Avery, that's. Doesn't matter. So we really, if my opponent ugh, attacks with Arceus, then we need to prevent that damage. Um, I don't think I can win this. 220, 220. I need double heal. And a path to peak. 
I don't think it's happening. There's no way you retreat, right? I mean, I would appreciate it, but there's no way you retreat. <laughs> well, they have their own hyper potion. <laughs> Very nice. Alright. 220, and we got our research off of that. Um, okay. Let's do concealed cards. quite what we were hoping for. Let's do Avery. Alright, there's a path. Uh, kinda need another Blissey though. Nope. I got rid of my capture energy. Good job, Pablo. Good job. I didn't get any Hyper Potion either. All right, so here goes nothing. <laughs> here goes nothing. I need a double hyper potion. Yeah, just drawing things in the wrong order, uh, which it's impossible to control with this deck, so what are you gonna do? They have too much HP, you rely on path to a peak. <laughs> it's just not happening against that deck. It really just isn't happening at all. Not bad, though. like not about showing for the deck at least. One high potion would not have made a difference. We needed two. <clears throat> no Blizzy either. Here's the Blizzy. But I'm pretty sure I am super dead. I do have the triple hyper potion, right? Oh, I can't even attack. <laughs> can I get my last path to a peak? I can. I can get my last path to a peak, though we are very likely just going to see a um, boss for you. Oh, that huge hand, only one down boss for a game. Yep, not much you can do about that. GG to my opponent. Um, cool deck. Iffy performance. Would rate it like a, I don't know, 5 out of 10. Like, Blissey is an interesting card and it's cool, but it just, it's, it's just, it, it's not quite as broken as the other cards <laughs> that usually dominate. But anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, really helps out the channel. Don't forget to support through the sponsors. Really makes a difference and need all the help that you can um if you can really appreciate it and consider maybe becoming a member of the channel and i'll see you next time bye, -bye.